I'm Adam Collins. This is the final word for wisdom.com, fueled by Kookaburra Cricket. I've got one of, well, one of Kookaburra's legends from back in the day. Now, coach of Middlesex, Stuart Law, just got here from having been in charge of the West Indies. What are your first impressions of taking over this, this famous county? Um, well, once it's, it, well, number one thing, it's steeped in history. Um, your home ground is, well, one of your home grounds is Lords. Um, and my office is overlooking the, uh, over the ground as well. So, look, so far so good. Um, you know, it's a very small club um, size-wise in the fact that the, the office staff isn't, isn't you know, hundreds of people. It's mm. a very intimate uh, group. Um, the playing staff is obviously not as massive as some, but, you know, bigger than others. But, um, you know, we're all working pretty well. And so far, three months, it's been, uh, it's been great turning up here every day for work. So. It's a big job, though, isn't it? I mean, a big job to come back from having won the comp in 2016 in Division One, mm. relegated, struggled thereafter. Like, what are your what are your impressions of what's gone before and how you can turn the corner quickly this year? Yeah, I think number one thing we, we've we've got to forget about what's happened. Um, we've got to you know can't look forward uh, can't look backwards. Sorry, um, you know we've got to start looking forward and start working out how we can can improve how how we uh, go about doing that and uh, changing of changing up a few things. It's not so much a talent thing; it's a it's a real attitude uh, shift. So you know myself and Nick Pothis, who are new into the coaching system, we've um, uh, tried to change uh, the outlook, uh, the way we the way we go about doing things. Things, the reasons why we're doing things, um, and players are buying in, which is which is great. Uh, you know what? We're not reinventing the wheel. We're just uh, doing basics better and uh, understanding that you know there is a lot of talent in this room. Um, they're the ones who who got us down here. They're the same ones who can take us back up. So it's 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 been good um, to understand it, but uh, to live it um, is starting to become reality. It's really good. It's probably reflected in the fact that in the, in the T20 blast, you've named AB de Villiers about as big a recruit as you can get in white ball cricket, but red ball cricket. No international players. You've gone the complete other direction. Yeah, we have, uh, and the reason for that is if we we pick an overseas player to come in and play, um, you know, red ball cricket, we're leaving out either an England player, uh, a future England player, or a past England player, yeah. and you know, we, we've got don't really want to have talent sitting on the sideline that we can be utilising in four-day cricket. We need to use all our all our um, staff at some point. Um, you know, and they all they will all contribute to to our successes uh, that we have down the line. So we haven't gone down that road just yet. Uh, fingers crossed that injuries don't plague us and that we might need to um, bring someone in due to that. But um, so far we're going with uh, homegrown talent. Speaking of England players and speaking of injuries, Toby Rowland Jones two summers ago mm. uh, takes the international scene by storm against South Africa. Um, injured at the end of that year, misses the Ashes too. I missed all of 2018 due to another stress fracture, but he's back bowling. Uh, how far away is he? What's the status right now? Um, uh, he's not that far away at all. He's, uh, he, he's looking very good. Um, he, he's played against Oxford University. Uh, he had a good hit out against um, uh, Hampshire down at Hampshire uh, a couple of weeks ago as well. Um, he's fit and firing, ready to go. Uh, pulled up really well after those two two games. Uh, looks like he's, he's right for selection for come Friday. So, um, News is good. Um, he's bowling well, and to have him back in the side is is outstanding. He's a he's a champion bloke. You would have seen Stephen Finn bowl a lot uh, in your role yeah, as an international coach. Him. You would have faced him as well, of course, back in the day. Um, he's fallen off the radar a little bit as far as international selection is concerned. Mm. But again, what are your impressions of what you've seen in the net so far, and whether he has got the extra gear to make it back into that consideration again sooner rather than later? Yeah, look, I. Oh. I remember facing him and he was like like Kurtley Ambrose, he bowled fast on a length that you couldn't get forward to or go back to. Um, for, for some reason I think he tried to start swinging the ball. Um, uh, we've got him away from that again. Uh, we've got him back just bowling that hard length at, at as fast as he can. And if it moves slightly away, it's, he's in the play. If it doesn't, well, he's still in the game as well. So, look, he's he's been good. He's, he's come back from a chronic knee injury. Um, once again, he's had the same program or playing-wise as Toby. Uh, and he's he's fit and firing, looking forward to... Uh, well, he's, he's available for selection on Friday as well. So, look, so far we, we've got a full stock. Um, uh, just one injury to our... Mm on our concern, which is uh, Martin Anderson, but uh, hopefully it's not uh, too serious uh, and you know, definitely we can get him back doing some form of cricket this year. Uh, give us a kid to watch for this year. Who, who's the one person you've seen in, in pre-season here like that one there? He's the one that's going to play for England. Oh, look, there's, you could throw a blanket over a few of them, mate. Um, there's, there's a couple of real good ones, uh, a couple of guys who represent the Lions in the winter. Um, you know, But I reckon there's, there's, there's a couple that are coming through underneath that... You know, will really, and it, unfortunately, I just mentioned his name, injured himself. Um, Martin Anderson, uh, maybe not this year, uh, but definitely in years to come. He, he's one to look out for. He's, he's an all-rounder, um, high skill with the bat, white ball cricket. He's got the ramp shots and hits the ball clean as, as anyone. So he, he is one to look out for, but 
there's there's quite a few in our dressing room, mate, that I'm excited about. Of course, we're standing here at Lords where the World Cup final will be played uh, in the middle of July. You would have been watching Australia closely on the television, I'm sure, as they won eight on the trot from nowhere overseas. They're not going to win the thing, are they? Oh, you, yeah, don't don't put it past them. Um, look, they they've gone through their turmoil. They've gone through problems. The the only the only concern that they will have is integrating Warner and Smith back into that lineup. Um, and at the moment, if if the Australian selection is consistent, uh, you can't see them getting in straight away. They'll have to bide their time. But you know, stranger things have happened. Um, you just you just don't know what's around the corner. You, you, selectors are a funny beast. They 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 make decisions that sometimes aren't um, you know logistically possibly right uh, to the to the normal human being but deep down there's a reason for it so interesting to see how those guys integrate back into the team um, definitely be in the squad they're, they're high quality cricketers um, and I think they've you know they've they've got a point to prove um, you know Warner started the IPL like a like a barnstorming you know two innings you know and a, a 60 odd and 100 just recently and you know Smith's just starting to find some find some form so they'll come into the World Cup you know ready to go um, Australia Never underestimate an Aussie. Um, England obviously going as red hot favourites. India are going to be tough to beat, but uh, for me, I'd, I'd like to see Owen Morgan lift the World Cup come July. Massive, massive year here at Lords, not least for Middlesex County Cricket Club. Uh, thanks so much to Stuart Law for joining. The final word for Wisdom.com, fueled by Cookabar Cricket. Good luck for 2019. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you. Uh, generally in 2020, when, you, when you're trying to hit a boundary at, you know, towards, the end of the, towards the end of the innings, uh, I think the main thing to do is just holding your shape for as long as you can, just like a, a normal cricket shot. It's generally the ones that you, you lose your shape and you come off them too quick. They're the ones that you, that you miss hit. But as long as you, you know, stay in your shot like a, like a traditional cover drive or straight drive, they're the ones that you generally hit the middle of the bat and you have the most success with.